Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. And we've got some Judo coming up, the Tel Aviv Grand Slam. So I just want to go through and look at some of the top Judoka that are going to be appearing in every category. I'll be doing highlights for the tournament, so make sure to subscribe. Righto, let's get into it. 60 kg category, we've got Craig Zabayev, top seed going into this tournament, but he hasn't had a podium finish in a while. So I'm sure he'll be looking to get on there. Nice judo from him, lots of variety of techniques. Doesn't throw for Ippon that often, but often racks up but lots of wazaris. Unfortunately, he's got two people in his category that he's lost to recently. And one of them is next up here, the Russian, Oguzov. And Oguzov has some really nice judo where he likes to kind of wait until they grip and then counter or grip and go himself. So a very reactionary fighter. Should be good to see him. And last person I want to look at for the 60kg category is the Turkish fighter. Akus. Nice Tanya Toshi there. And here comes a great counter Uchigari. Moving along to the 66kg category now. We've got Shamailov and he will be looking to redeem himself. Only got 5th place at Tel Aviv last year. So with home advantage on his side, maybe he'll be able to get a medal this time around. Beautiful Soda Subikami Goshi here. And the last throw from him. A nice counter against a Japanese player. Next up, one of my favorite judoka, Vieru, who has beautiful judo, especially his Tayotoshi. So here we see a nice counter. And here he is against Lombardo, who deep in golden score, gets this beautiful Tayotoshi. So Viru always has very consistent uh, results, so he might be up there on the podium. Next up from Azerbaijan, Safarov, who is our latest European champion. So definitely expecting him to do well at this tournament. Good strength there to get the counter. Moving on into the 73 kg category, we've got the Swede, Messius, who has a notable win over Fabio Basili. And he likes to take his time with his judo, look for good counters. Very thoughtful judo there. And here we have the lovely footwork against Basili. Next up, another Israeli fighter, Butbul, and he didn't compete at Tel Aviv last year. But he has a notable win against the Georgian, who I will talk about next. Anyway, he has really good Seoi Nage, Seoi Otoshi. Here we have a Seoi Otoshi against Orujov. Wonderful throw there, Ippon. Here we have the Georgian fighter I was talking about, Shadav Lashvili Lashla. And a win against Vasili, as he gets the Osai Komi there. Lovely foot sweeps that he likes to mix up with his Georgian Judo. So here's one here, and then against the same opponent, gets another Wazadi with the same technique. One, two, nice foot sweep. And now the 81 kg category, lots of big names here. As we look at Sagi Muki, most likely probably going to get gold, you know, home advantage. Um, he has some tough matchups against people he has lost to. And I'll talk about those judoka in a minute. But here we see his really strong judo that he has. Always manages to find a way to get wazari or ippon. And here we have his osoto, Otoshi at the world championships, great ippon. But he has suffered losses to uh, Cassie Matthias. And Cassie loves his newaza. Very good at getting arm bars and chokes. And here we see he locks up the arm, manages to roll them over into a Sankaku-like pin. Very interesting way he locks up the leg here, kind of underhooking the ankle. I think most people would usually go to grab the pants, but he's the expert, not me. And here we have DeWitt, who also has a win over Muki. Lovely Tomoe Nage there. 
And here he is against Muki. So it'll be really great to see these two fight again. I don't think Muki wants to lose again, and I don't think he wants to lose in front of his home crowd. He'll be avoiding the Newaza as much as possible because uh, Dewit, he's got some really nice Newaza. Pretty sure Muki is already tapping here, tapping again, tapping again. But Dewit, always a top competitor. And here we have Molai who hasn't had the best results as of late as he's changing country and training location but he's got very unique techniques interesting karagurumas wonderful foot sweeps now Malai has wins against Dewitt and Cassie but he hasn't fought uh, Sagimuki yet so it would be nice to see how those two match up and now we're going to move on to the 90kg category Another strong category at this tournament, we've got Shiraz Dishvili. Always has strong Uchimatus and strong Koshiwaza. Usually see him on top of the podium. But he's got some tough matchups. And one of those matchups is Becker from Georgia, the veteran who, as you know, has great pickups, great uranages, and actually he's showed his uh, versatility on the ground uh, recently, as we see here against Mukai. And he also has wins against Shiraj Desvili and Bobanov, who I'm going to talk about shortly. Here we see a lovely pickup. Great strength, great technique. And here's the other Georgian in the 90kg category. Maybe not as uh, strong and powerful as Becker, but Becker Udi, he's always competitive, always looking to score those top spots on the podium, so it'll be great to see what he turns up with. Next up, Bobanov. Really, really fast uh, judo player, lots of pickups, but it is his Seoi Nage that I think is his strongest weapon. And he has wins over Becker, as you see here, with this choke. Now he also has a win over Bekauri from Georgia as well, but he lost to Shiraz Dushvili in their last matchup. Managed to uh, score a Wazari at him one time before that actually, where he lost as well, but that's a difficult matchup for him. And here we are in the under 100kg category, another Israeli fighter, uh, Patrick Peter, who is... A very thoughtful fighter, I think. He often fights for Shiro's, uh, looks for opportunities whenever he can. Here we see a nice Osotogari. Usually in this category, there's quite a lot of competition that he has to face, but I think at the tournament in Tel Aviv this time around, there's only really one or two uh, dangerous mat matchups for him. Speaking of dangerous matchups, we've got Corel from the Netherlands, who is a bit of a Newaza specialist himself. Often likes to drag people to the ground with Seoi Nage or Sori Surikomigoshi. And then he takes him for a ride on the ground. Here we see his Seoi Nage, and it's nothing special, but he just likes to get people down here and then begin his work. Here's another Sode, barely gets a Wazari and then starts to work on the ground as we speed things up here, but just step by step, locking up top position and then working on the legs. And here we have the Uzbekistani fighter, Kurumov, who is an up-and-comer, still a bit young. I think he tries to force a lot of his techniques and they don't really come to him. You see him train a lot and he's got beautiful techniques, but uh, a lot of the times he's uh, fighting for Shido's. So hopefully he'll uh, get used to the international stage soon and we'll see much more of his techniques. Finally, at the plus 100 kg category, we've got Kripaluk, the Olympic champion at the under 100 kg category but he's gone up in weight 
using his dominant Nawaza to bring these heavyweights down and submit them as he does here. Or pin them as he generally likes to do. So most likely you're going to see lots of Nawaza from him. Uh, he's got lots of variety on the ground, always manages to turn people over. And even if he can't pass the legs, he's going to lock up a choke like he does here. But he does have some techniques, a nice sode surikomigoshi here. But you're definitely going to see some nevels from Kapalik and most likely he'll be taking gold. But he is going to have to get through uh, Trishashvili first, who is a very explosive fighter. Great Seoinage here. And here we see great balance and timing to time this foot sweep. Gets the Ippon. And as I said, very strong, very powerful, very fast. Often ends up getting quite ridiculous looking techniques like that one. And finally, at the plus 100s, we've got the Israeli again, Sasson. Took gold at the last Tel Aviv competition. But I think it'll be difficult for him to get past Kropelik. Nice Kosoto Gake there. This was at Tel Aviv, so home crowd is going to be good for him, but not sure if he'll be able to take gold this time. But anyway, guys, that's it from me. So make sure to subscribe, and there'll be lots of videos uh, over the course of the tournament. So stay tuned, and I'll see you later.